Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus 23. We're going to look at verses 14 and 15. Three times a year you shall celebrate a feast to me. You shall observe the feast of unleavened bread. For seven days you are to eat unleavened bread, as I commanded you at the appointed time in the month of Abib. For in it you came out of Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty-handed. Okay, so here we have three feasts that occur at different times of the year. And this Feast of Unleavened Bread, what does it do? It recalls to us the Exodus. Remember, we were just back there a few, a few months ago, back in the Exodus, uh, because we're going through the book of Exodus. And we went through line by line that whole experience of the Exodus. This Feast of Unleavened Bread reminds us back, it takes, carries us back, and each year was intended to bring, call the mind and the heart of God's people back to that experience of deliverance by the Most High God from Pharaoh who thought he was the Most High and turned out not so much to be the Most High. So the unleavened bread, that feast, that's a, a thing that happens once a year. It's one of these three primary feasts. Did you notice what it says here? None shall appear before me empty-handed. Everybody's involved. The whole community is involved. Everybody's invited. We're all plugged in. This is for all of us. This is for the, the, the uh, leader of the household. This is for the servant. This is for the lowest servant. This is for the stranger in the land. Everybody gets to be involved, right? So this is something for the whole community. All the community is to be circumcised. All the community is to join in. This celebration is to include everybody. We're not leaving anybody out. And so important thing here that this is not excluding, excluding all these different groups. God is trying to bring all these people in. So he wants us to all have the benefit uh, here of this, in this case, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He's inviting people to be engaged in this celebration, in, in the history, in the working of the Hebrew, his working with the Hebrews. And so here we have the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He doesn't want to leave anybody out. God is always trying to bring people in. He has boundaries. Sometimes they can't come in with the people, but he's trying to bring and include everybody. We'll say more tomorrow, and that'll be all for today. God bless you.